It's complicated. Uh, the, the Senate bill wouldn't have been enacted uh, at the time you're passing changes to it. Um, you know, parliamentary objections may be raised. Uh, it may be tough in the House to get a majority uh, from among the Democrats because there's, you know, a lot of concern about the Senate bill and some changes, say, having to do with abortion can't be dealt with in a reconciliation bill. But that's what this is about. Democrats know if health reform is to be passed, it will be passed with only Democratic votes, that it would be subject to a Republican filibuster if they didn't use reconciliation, and that reconciliation has enough precedent in history to make it possible for them to use it in this circumstance. It's about a partisan war over whether we will have health reform or not, and it's the Democrats' root to success, and uh, Republicans correctly see it as, uh, as just that, and therefore their route to defeating health uh, reform is to delegitimizing the, uh, the use of reconciliation.